Globalisation is causing profound and often dizzying effects on British businesses. As the world shrinks economically, many companies are finding that promoting themselves on an international stage is an increasing challenge. Imagine then the enormity of marketing a country. Tourism is a really important industry for the UK. It's a huge employer and the side of the industry that we're active in is actually an export, it's an invisible export worth a good £18 billion a year. So the money that people are spending when they're here, that's their hard-earned foreign currency and, you know, for us, um, incredibly important. Visit Britain is Britain's national tourism agency, responsible for promoting Britain worldwide and developing the country's visitor economy. Its mission is to build the value of international tourism, working in partnership with the industry and nations and regions to generate additional visitor spend. We're in a really strong position. It's one of the things that Britain does well. We're in the top five in terms of our global competitiveness as ranked by the World Economic Forum. So we, you know, we're right up there in the, in the top league, in the big players. Having said that, there are countries also, you know, snapping at our heels. The marketplace for global tourism is getting tougher. And the fact is, without marketing, Britain could slip off the global radar. In 1990, Britain attracted almost twice as many international tourists as did China. By 2011, China attracted nearly twice as many as Britain. Low-cost air travel, open skies agreements, visa waivers, sustained economic growth in established and emerging economies and the following winds of globalisation have all contributed to this global change. So Visit Britain has a crucial role and is facing these challenges head on. Where our ambition is, is, is to see a, a sort of a 3% year-on-year growth to take us up to about 40 million visitor, uh, visitors by 2020. Now, Brand Britain itself, of course, has a huge element to play there. We are widely respected, um, people know about us, but what we need to do is to overlay the areas that people think they know about to give them new reasons to travel if they are potentially repeat visitors and, and also to deliver cut through as well. It's such a noisy world out there that all of our marketing needs to really be where people are at the right time with the right messaging. The London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games undoubtedly gave Brand GB a much needed boost and Visit Britain was planning for the event long before the successful bid was even announced. Following the game's success, it's been working together with other government agencies and the private sector, including global companies and tourism businesses, both large and small. We had a huge opportunity last year to showcase Britain around the world. We know that billions of people watched coverage of Britain and our countryside and saw the warmth of the welcome from the volunteers that, and that was given to the athletes and visitors that came. We ducked the trend for displacement. Very often in an Olympic year, you see visitors actually staying away. We grew visitor spread during 2012. And off the back of that, we've had a really good start to 2013. What we want to do now is harness that momentum and really think about long-term growth, growing Britain's tourism, inbound tourism industry to 40 million visitors, and that will deliver about £8.7 billion additional spend and support an additional 200,000 jobs. That really relies on marketing and policy working hand in hand. It can't be done on marketing alone. We've got to get the aviation capacity right and improved, we've got to get the visa regime right, we've got to get the product and the distribution right and put that hand in hand with really strong marketing. To achieve its growth strategy, Visit Britain must always look ahead. With its extensive network of more than 20 overseas offices, the organisation is well positioned to offer all important insight and connections around the world without which many companies would struggle to reach a wide audience.
it would be a lot harder for the British travel industry, particularly those SME products, which our industry is principally composed of, to get good access to good opportunities in an international basis. And as the world becomes more global, and as those opportunities become greater, so does the competitive nature of this industry. And, and what Visit Britain is trying to do is to understand this complex global environment, bring that knowledge back to our industry partners and help them be ready for export. Like any business, the success of Visit Britain must be measured by the bottom line. Visitors mean little if economic benefit to the country doesn't follow. As a government funded organisation we are obliged to demonstrate our effectiveness on behalf of the taxpayer so there's very little that we do that doesn't have a specific business effect. We're very keen to work with partners to leverage a whole load of different assets, uh, investment, uh, brand association but the reverse is, is quite the same as well. I mean we now have over a million followers on Facebook, we have significant digital social media channels. Um, last, over the past 18 months we've delivered about six billion pounds worth of positive PR for Britain. Britain. These are all assets that our commercial partners are very interested in. We extend their reach, we open doors for them and a lot of the time we're also able to bring our partners together. So whether that's bringing an airline together with a hotel chain and then the destination message on top. So a lot of the time it, it actually works best when you're working with several partners at a time and it is those assets and that brand association that is just as important for an airline as it is for us working with that particular commercial partner. During the past year, inbound tourism has contributed £18.7 billion to Britain's economy, a 5% rise in nominal terms on the previous 12 months. As well as challenges, globalisation presents enormous opportunities. Increasing numbers living in countries such as China and Brazil are able to travel internationally. A visit from China generates roughly three times as much as a visit from the typical inbound market. We need to keep our loyal visitors coming back here, so that's the visitors from France, Germany, near Europe and from North America, but we need to get more of a share of visitors from the emerging or newly emerged uh, huge economies, huge growth economies like India, China, but others like Mexico and um, Indonesia and so on, uh, where people are starting to travel more. Uh, and so we need to make sure that we get a slice of that market as well as the market really, really expands. Britain has been one of the must-see destinations for international tourists for many decades. As changes in the world bring both enormous challenges and opportunities. For Visit Britain, now is the moment to capitalise on the power of Brand GB.